Stress echocardiography is a test that determines how well the heart functions while it is stressed. Anything that makes your heart pump harder and faster is a stress to the heart. Medically, either exercise or a drug can be used to induce stress in the heart. Hello everyone. Today, our topic for discussion is stress echocardiography. Stress echocardiography test helps your doctor determine if you have any blockages in your arteries, which could lead to a heart attack or sudden cardiac arrest. In other words, it is helpful in the diagnosis of coronary artery disease. A treadmill ECG test is more popular and inexpensive for detection of the blockages in the coronary arteries. When your ECG at rest has some abnormalities that make treadmill ECG test non-diagnostic, that is where the stress echocardiography test comes into play. There are two types of stress echocardiogram. The first one is an exercise stress echocardiogram. In this, exercise on a treadmill or ergometer is used to stress the heart. The second one is a pharmacological stress echocardiogram. In this, a drug is used to induce stress. The drug can be either dobutamine or adenosine. During an exercise stress echocardiogram, you will exercise on a treadmill or stationary bicycle. Immediately after exercise, you will lie on the table or bed while heart scanning is done with an echocardiogram. If you are able to exercise, your doctor prefers an exercise stress echocardiogram over dobutamine stress echocardiogram. During a pharmacological stress echocardiogram, you will receive a drug to induce stress in the heart. This drug can be either dobutamine or adenosine. Among these, stress echocardiogram with dobutamine is more popular. Hence it got the name dobutmonin stress echocardiogram. A dobutamine stress echocardiogram is preferred when you are unable to exercise. When you can exercise, exercise stress echocardiogram is better. The most common indication of the stress echocardiogram test is coronary artery disease. In coronary artery disease, cholesterol builds up inside the coronary arteries. This causes the inside of the arteries to narrow over time. This causes chest pain or shortness of breath with exercise. Normal ECG and 2D echo tests cannot detect such kinds of blockages. Then, your doctor may advise stress tests like stress echo. Normal ECG and 2D echo tests cannot detect such kinds of blockages. Then, your doctor may advise stress tests like stress echo. Another indication for stress echo test is to assess viability in heart failure. This is called the viability test. This is basically done after a coronary angiogram test to know if opening the blockage has any value in improving the heart's condition. The presence of viability in heart failure indicates improvements with stent surgery or bypass surgery. In such care, your doctor perform either of them. Lack of viability means no use with bypass surgery or stent surgery. So, your doctor defers both the options.